More than 40 years ago, a school teacher in America set up an experiment to show her pupils what it was like to be victims of discrimination. She divided them into two groups, those with blue eyes and those with brown eyes. Now it's being recreated for a television programme. And the show airs tonight at 10 p.m. on Channel 4. And one of the participants is Marvin Baker, and he joins us now. Quite an int well, I mean, very interesting, just to scrape the surface of it. Explain very briefly the idea behind this process. Um, well, the exercise is, is aimed at showing people who have never experienced any kind of real discrimination um, what it's like. And it's kind of a, a microcosm of society, as in, you're one of these type of people, you're a different type, and roles are completely reversed for the fact that, obviously, the people with blue eyes are put in a situation where they are told what to do. Now, the original experiment was um, by a teacher called Jane Elliott in Ohio, and she divided her class into two groups, so those with blue eyes, those with brown eyes, and yeah. she told one group they were superior, more intelligent, and the other group they were troublemakers. And in that experiment, everyone sort of conformed to their roles, okay. and then when they switched, people's uh, reaction to their new role to, switched again, with it. Absolutely. And she was just showing how people can be conditioned to behave as they're stereotyped. What was, it, what was the outcome during the programme? Was it similar to that or not? It was very similar. Um, having seen the original Eye of the Storm um, videotape, whereas in that everybody conformed, with the programme that we did, there, were, there was a mixed bag. There were some people who it was almost profound that went into it expecting... I don't, I don't have any kind of racial tendencies and, and, and I don't know why you're doing this, who by the end of it were completely shocked and, and appreciated that, wow, people of, as, as Jane calls them, people of colour um, or people in any kind of minority actually have to go through mental conditioning on a daily basis to be able to, 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 to get by. And, and not in a... It, it's a very subtle thing. Um, and I think that's what the programme demonstrates, that racism isn't just about the BMP, Nick Griffin-style right wing. It's simply an ignorance it's to, 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 day to, to, to not, not, not pulling people... Like for example, the, um, the incident in the green room, I think it was at the One Show, yeah. where unless somebody stands up, like Joe Brand did, these kind of incidents where people feel they can make racist statements... They, they just go... And does it come across in the programme... Because that, to me, is down to, to lack of... Edu well, not lack of education, but perhaps ignorance. Absolutely. Does this come across in the programme? Definitely, definitely. And, and there are some people... I mean, there are people escorted out, kicking and screaming by security, that simply wouldn't... I wouldn't say conform, but wouldn't participate and, and give an, enter into it with an open mind. And I think the people who entered with the open mind are the people that got the most from it. Do you think, though, that, I mean, the programme has come in for criticism because it is a psychological experiment. They say it's manipulating people. It's, they, some people describe it as Orwellian, evil, unethical. I mean, the, the, the intention is to, to have a positive outcome and raise awareness of people's attitudes towards discrimination. Do you think it does that, or is it just purely reality TV at another level? I, I don't think there's anything about it that's reality TV at another level. I would say that having experienced 34 years as a mixed-race person to put somebody who has never experienced that through what is a very draconian and Orwellian and, and all the things that you've, 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 you've mentioned, to do that for maybe three or four hours, as opposed to 34 years, then so what? You think they're just giving them a, a taste? Of Absolutely. And, and the people, like I say, that had the open mind at the start of it, actually took something from it. The people that were switched off and closed are the kind of people that will come out with those statements. The people that took something from it when we did the debrief, I mean, some of the things that we're saying were quite profound and, and, and it inspired me. It really did. Fabulous. Well, that's uh, Channel 4 tonight at 10 o'clock. Um, I'm sure we'll be watching we'll be. with interest. Did, did I mention Hello Millie? <laughs> oh, well, you have, <laughs> well, you have done there now, yeah. <laughs> Marvin, thanks very much for joining us.